we are given now there is a bed on top of the tree and is looking down at the top and the base of the flagpole all right and we are giving those angles the angle of depression okay now the top will be the lesser angle 45 the base of the flagpole will be the larger angle 60. Welcome to Dave Tooth Academy and today we want to look at soft questions on triangles from 2016. Here we are told that Kweku walked 8 meters up a slope and was 3 meters above the ground and then if he walks 12 meters further up the slope, how far above the ground will he be? So let's draw a Kweku, that's Kweku, I don't know maybe he's a male or a female, he's a, he's a person, I don't know if he's a man or a woman. Okay, so he walks um, 8 meters up a slope, and at that point, he, ap he happens to be 3 meters above the ground level. Okay, good. So then we're also told that he walks 12 meters further up the slope. 12 meters, and we're asked to find how far above the ground he would be when he's 12 meters up the slope. Now, already looking at this, you can see that it's going to yield a question in triangle and if you are to draw that out we will have something like this 8 is lesser so we have that is lesser and 12 then we have 3 and we are looking at x we are looking at x so if you label our triangles we can notice that this angle if you call it theta and we know the angles um, from our trigonometric function Sokatua, we can see that we know the opposites and then we know the hypotenuse. So there is a small hypotenuse and a bigger hypotenuse. So now, if you are to relate our trigonometric function Sokatua, what formula is relating opposite and hypotenuse? We see that it is a sign. It is a sign. And so we can say, yeah, sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse and in the first case the opposite is 3 hypotenuse is 8 that is for triangle ABC and in the second case since it is the same angle the opposite is X and the hypotenuse now is going to be 8 and 12 from the triangle ADE so if you are to cross multiply we will find that our hex will be 3 times 20 divided by 8. And by the time we divide, we'll have 15 over 2, which is 7.5 meters. Here, we have an object that is 6 meters from the base of a mast. And we are given the angle of depression of the object from the top of the mast. And we are to find the height of the mast. So if you draw out our diagram, we have the object, we have the mast. Let's say this is the mast. We are told the angle of depression from the top of the mast. So if you go to the top of the mast and we draw a horizontal line, then draw the angle of depression as 50 degrees. Now we are asked to find the height of this mast. We are to find the height of the mast. Now there are so many different ways we can go about it. Just find an angle in the included triangle and then relate it to the distance between the object and the base. But alternatively, we can also look at this and say that the angle from the object to the top of the mast is 50 because that is an alternate angle. So if we are to draw out our triangle, we'll have something like this. The object, the base, and the top. We have 6 meters as OB. We are looking for the height TB. And we have the angle to 50 degrees. So if you go to our Sokatua, Sokatua, here from the diagram, we have the adjacent and the opposite. So what trigonometric function is handling that? We can see that it is tan. So we have tan 50 is opposite, which is, which is h over adjacent, which is 6. So h is 6 tan 50. And that will be 6 multiplied by 1.1918. 1 1.19. 1 
So if you are to multiply that by 6, we see it is 7.1505. 7.1505. But we ask to find it correct to two decimal places. That will be seven dot one five meters. That's the height of the mast. Okay, good. Um, let's go to our theory on two thousand and sixteen. Now we need to interpret this question correctly. I told that there is a tree, there is a flagpole on the same horizontal ground, a bed on top of the tree. Observe the top and bottom of the flagpole below it at angles of forty-five and sixty degrees. So we are given the height of the tree, we have to find the height of the flagpole. If we are to draw this um, question out, we have our tree, we have the flagpole. Yes. Now there is a bed on top of the tree and is looking down at the top and the base of the flagpole. All right. And we are giving those angles, the angle of depression Okay, now the top will be the lesser angle 45. The base of the flower bowl will be the larger angle 60. So now we are giving the height of the tree also. We have to draw the height of the tree. The height of the tree was given as 10.65 meters. And we are asked to find the height of the flagpole H. Now, this is also going to yield a um, problem in right angle triangle. And if you are to complete our diagram and get the angles in the diagram, we will see that here will be 45, and the other one at the base of the mass will also be 60, 60 degrees. And what is the reason for this is because these are alternate angles. The angles in the ultimate sections of the transverse are running across two parallel lines. So, having this, we can want to go ahead and draw out our triangles. Let's draw out our shape as a plane figure. So that won't be confused. Okay. That's the shape we have. And then, we want to label it... You can use any form of label, but we know we are looking for this height H. We are giving this height of the tree as um, that's 10.65 meters. And then we have the angle here as 45 and the angle here as 60 degrees. So if you label our diagram now. How do we go about finding the value of H? We see that H, which is also ED, which is also BC, is the line AC minus the line AB. If you can find the length of AB, we already know AC. We can easily get the value of the height of the flagpole. So, now, to get AB, we have this triangle. So from triangle ADC, the bigger triangle, if you are to draw that out, we'll have this as our triangle ACD, which is a right angle triangle, and we are giving 10.65 as AC, and we know angle ADC as 60 degrees. That means we know the opposite, and we want to find the adjacent. Tan is what relates the opposite at the adjacent, such that we have here, we have CD is 10.65 over tan 60. And that will be 10.65 divided by tan 60. 6.1488, if you approximate that. 6.1488. Now, this same CD, from the diagram, we can see that it's also the same as BE. So this is also the same as the line BE. Okay. So now, if you are now to look at the triangle ABE, from the triangle ABE, we have to draw that out. I told that this is. We have been given this as forty-five. 
that will also make the other one 45. And interestingly, this is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangles with two equal base angles and two equal sides. That means AB is also equal to B, and that is 6.1488 that we have found initially. So now, we can easily solve our H as AC minus AB. AC was given as 10.65. Then B or AB we are found to be 6.1488, and that will yield... Um, four dot five zero one two. But recall that we have to find the answer correct to three significant figures. So if you approximate that, that will be four dot five zero meters. What I will always advocate for is for us to practice. The more we do that, the better we become. And until next time, God bless you.